Well, for five seasons, fans of HBO Girls have watched a group of best friends love, hate, succeed, and fail their way through their 20s. Now, as the show embarks on its sixth and final season, the girls are nearing 30 and, fingers crossed, are finally getting some things right. We start paddling, just like you're swimming. Nice and easy, we're just paddling. In that position. Yeah, but with the chest up. So, and paddling with a forward motion. Paddle, paddle, paddle. It's good. Okay, that's enough paddling. And then hands on the rails. Okay, now the wave comes. We're gonna push up into a standing position. One, two, three, up, pop up. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> Lena Dunham is girl's creator, writer. Director, star, she's the everything. Lena, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Maria. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So nice to see you. So final season going in. You've said a lot over the years. What do you want to say this year that you haven't been able to say? I think that this year for us was really about trying to sort of counteract the television notion that everybody has to have a happy ending. Doesn't mean they have to have a tragic ending. This isn't Breaking Bad, but we mm -hmm. did really want to show just how messy your 20s are and that growing up doesn't always mean growing into yourself. It just means shift and change and challenge. And so I think if you're a fan of the show, you'll find the ending anticlimactic in just the right way. And mm -hmm. if you're not a fan of the show, you'll be just as annoyed as you've ever been. What, what do you want kind of five years looking back at it? What do you want it to have stood for? What do you want the headline of it to be? You know, what I've been saying a lot to people is that I hope that the show really made room for prickly characters on television. The same way that I felt like characters like Mary Tyler Moore allowed me to imagine a different kind of future for myself. I hope that the girls of girls make women feel like perfection isn't the goal and that we're allowed to just we're allowed to contain as many multitudes as our male counterparts. But the other thing that I think about a lot is that I really want it to have told an accurate story about female friendship because my female friendships have been the most beautiful, complicated, painful part of my life so far. And this is really, um, this is really a love story to those. So you wrote this, uh, the proposal for it, when you were 23, right? And I find as the mother of two girls who are separated by 19 months, it's almost like they're separated by a generation. And so things move very quickly. What yeah. do you think girls in their 20s are like today compared to what you were? Girls in their 20s are like today? Well, what I'm amazed by is that is the deeply political and ideological strength that so many women in their 20s are showing right now. Different from when you were in your 20s? hundred percent. I only came into my own as someone who was interested in politics. To be totally frank, when I got famous and started getting insane tweets from the alt-right every day and went, well, I guess there's some people in America who disagree with me. I had zero political consciousness, even going to a liberal arts school like Oberlin. And I look around and I see these girls in their 20s whose main concern is equality, is justice, is identity politics, and they're not settling for a world in which anybody gets less. And they really inspire me. Uh, in that first uh, scene there, where we were just looking at, I was struck by uh, the character says, right before that surfing thing, I'm a, a person who doesn't give a blankety blank about anything in life. Yeah. And you give a blankety blank about so many things it's in life, true. right? Lenny Letter, feminism, body image, you talk about anxiety, you talk about politics. What's foremost in your mind now here at this time in your life? I think right now, considering the current administration, I mean, obviously, like everyone, I have so many concerns about everything ranging from, you know, xenophobia and, you know, the new way that America is treating um, immigrants who've always been such an essential part of our history, all the way to global warming. But for me, where my heart lies will mm -hmm. always be in women's issues and making sure that women have access to safe and affordable reproductive care and making sure that no woman, um, based on her economic status, gender assigned at birth, religion or um, any aspect of who she is on a soul level is denied the basic rights that we all deserve. You said you wanted to end this and take time. You have the Lenny letter where you talk a lot about issues like that. You talk about feminism and you have interviews in there. What is taking time mean to someone your age, stepping back? What's that look like? I think my goal is to really be a support to other women in getting their voices out the way that HBO and my collaborators have been a support to me. So the systems that have lifted me up and allowed me to tell my story, 
I just want to be that for some other women. I don't have to be the voice of a generation. I just have to be making space for the voices that actually make up our generation. Lena Dunham, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. I had a chance to look at three uh, season, uh, three shows for this new season, and it looked terrific. You saw a penis, right? Yeah, yeah I, well, I saw more than that. I saw, yeah, you, you caught me there for a second. I'm not sure if you're allowed to say that on television. <laughs> I you did. I mean, you did. That's right. We saw. You can actually see a lot of things uh, when going you going out with a bag. You're going out with a bag. Okay. Well, I'm, we're just going out. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, when you get mad, help. She, she just threw me off. I'm so sorry. I'm yeah. so sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. I see, that's the difference between generations. I wasn't brought up talking like that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You said, Peter, thank no. you so much. Wait for a minute, you're oh. still on the air. Sit oh, down. I am? Yes, you are. You're still on the air. Matt, are you supposed to be saying something? No, we aren't still on the air, but you are. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> HBO. Okay. I'm thrilled by what's just happened here. <laughs> this is Maria Shriver uh, yes. and Lena Dunham on yes. today. We're on today. Yes, thank you. <laughs> You're both so attractive. <laughs> Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.